I will see you down home. Enjoy this week's video. Peace out. All right, going to check the raccoon trap. See if we got anything in there. What do you think? Yep. Think there's something down there, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll know shortly. So in our previous video, we talked about trapping for raccoons. The reason we do that is because if you're a, if you have chickens, possums and raccoons are a menace to the chickens. So that's why we try to um, get rid of the raccoons as much as possible and the possums because that mixture we mixed up also does um, attract possums. And so that's what we try to do with that. But sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes you end up with a skunk. wonderful skunk in your raccoon, raccoon trap. So... This is gonna be very interesting. With the cows around. With the cows around and the dog. There's Wrigley. <laughs> so, uh, well, here we go. Okay, so we talked about sometimes <laughs> things don't go as planned. That did not go as planned. So, us two, the dog and the cows all got sprayed by a skunk. So I didn't get sprayed. <laughs> we uh we smell like skunk now. So we may not be welcome back in the house here in just a minute, but uh we tried to hightail it out of there as quickly as possible. So that didn't go as planned. So hopefully <laughs> the next time when we get the trap set we get something that is not as toxic smelling as a skunk. All right, so um, first thing we learned about skunk smell is that if it is on you, you can't smell it near as good as the people around you can. Because we got in the house and Everyone. in about 15 seconds, Kristen had us outside taking our clothes off and going to take a shower because we smelled that bad and we didn't even notice. So now we're here for Dax's ball games. Last week it was Chan, today it's Dax. Dax, what's the plan? Play hard. Play hard, number one. Winning will take care of itself. Right on. All right, here we go. All right, so we're one day post skunk spray. And I really wish that smells could come through on video because this thing still smells like a skunk is trapped in it. It smells absolutely awful. Can't even be in it right now. But uh, what I do have to do today is feed cows. But I don't want to smell like a skunk the rest of the day again. So not going to feed the cows in here. So <laughs> what do you do when you have a vehicle that smells absolutely awful like a skunk and you need to feed your cows? Well, thankfully, we have other options, not as convenient, nor is it as, uh, luckily it's a pretty day out here today, but um, not as convenient, but luckily we have this option to where we can get the cows fed and So got the feeding done thanks to the tractor cows are fed and ready to go now we're gonna go uh, check on our fence crew real nice work they're covering that corner going around the curve 
looks really, really good. And down there, we got our fence finished. See some of that later. Down there, we got um, Dax. He just goes down there and does his thing in the cattle pen. Uh, he's mending fences somewhere, I'm sure. Putting clips back on. I don't know. He goes down there and does his own thing. Good thing is we're out here where he has plenty of room to do all that. So Dax is down there taking care of fences. Kristen down here taking care of the chickens, feeding, watering, showing them some Valentine's Day love. There she is. Just taking care of the little chickies. All right, so uh, taking you down to the chicken pen. We got chickens, we got dog. <laughs> she likes her chickens. I like the chicken eggs, but she does, she does a good job of taking care of the chickens. That is a mean rooster right there. Likes to try to come after you. Got a bunch of eggs though. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Laid them all in the same place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. <laughs> so you got one kid who loves the farm work. Can't wait to go help in the garden. Can't wait to go fix fence. Then you got one kid who does not like farm work. We'll do it if made to, but he would rather play basketball. We're working on precision shooting right here. If you can shoot here, you can shoot anywhere. Precision shooting, can't miss or you gotta go chase it. So. Maybe eventually we will uh, get the backboard replaced. But for now, we're just going old school. So, went to get in my truck this morning to check it out to see if it was skunky. And to my surprise, it was not very skunky. So, wasn't bad at all. And then as the day went and it set outside in the, it got hot, it got a little bit skunky, but it's not bad. So the most of the skunk smells out and I can return to not using the tractor to do everything. All right, so it's Valentine's Day and 20 years ago today, Kristen and I had our first date at Chickasha on Valentine's Day and uh, it was at Taco Bell. The reason it was at Taco Bell was because we were both playing college baseball and softball and uh, we had a baseball game that went about 15 innings and then had to play another one. So by the time we got back, it was about 9.30 at night and the basketball team, the men's basketball team was playing and Kristen had went to the game with all of her softball buddies. And so by the time we got back from our baseball game, Went back to the apartment, took a shower, got to the gym where she was, finished up the game, and it was about 10.30 or so by the time we got out of there. And in Chickasha, Oklahoma in 2002, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff open at 11 o'clock at night. So we ended up at Taco Bell. So we've revisited Taco Bell a few times on our dating anniversary. No, we did not have these three yahoos with us on the first date, but tonight, got anything to add to that? No. So tonight, as we 
celebrate 20 years, we are back at Taco Bell with the entire family. So <laughs> here is to Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody else. We're gonna go enjoy some Taco Bell. You're at Taco Bell. All right, so I'm outside on my front porch, and you hear that, you hear the noise. That's a big deal for people that are not from around here. Um, that is a very big deal. That is rain. We're in a very, very bad drought, and that is rain hitting our porch. Thank the good Lord we are finally receiving some good moisture. And then by morning, we're going to have, supposed to anyway, have snow on the ground. Whoa, that was really bright. Got rain last night and then here is the snow. Just a few hours later, crazy Oklahoma weather. All right, so last night, I showed you the rain. This morning, I showed you the snow. We had rain, sleet, uh, a little slush, and snow here. Some people had some hail last night, and there was actually some tornado warnings last night in different parts of the states. So we had all kinds of different weather. All right, so cows are fed. It's time to go to school. I did have to waste some of my smoldering hot coffee to pour on the lock because the lock was frozen so i did lose some coffee on the deal but um, everything is fed and this weather is absolutely nuts i don't got no food in my hand is that 86 taxi yes on your nose slimy ew ew slimy jackson <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't have a tag. Nope. All right, mixing us up another batch of uh, raccoon food. Need the sardines, Dax. Hmm? We've left them in the truck. Wait, I'm gonna open this. You got an extra one with us today. Lives with us. No live. No live. Very good. <laughs> Are they rotten? No, it's mustard. Wiggly, no. Trevor, let's go. Mix her Mix up. Mix her up. Oh, it's mustard sardines. <laughs> You're about to get on your jacket. Got her mixed up. Oh yeah. Dad, I want to set her in the trap. More. No, that's good. All right, got the trap reset. Hopefully not a smelly, smelly skunk again. Yeah, that was not fun. That was not fun. Uh, it took several days for the truck to clear out, so hopefully we catch a raccoon. That is the, that is what we hope happens. <laughs> All right, so that's all we've got for this week. So, hope you enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe, and as always, love God, love people. Let me go make a difference.